Moonlight Nana. Hello everyone, I'm Moonlight Nana and this is my 30th Medibank Paint Pro tutorial video. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope it can help you start off your first step in your digital art journey. In the previous tutorial video, we learned how to add folders and understand its importance. For this Medibank Paint Pro tutorial, I will explain about the Protect Alpha, clipping and lock of the lock of the layer window. Let's start. I'll first explain about the Protect Alpha. The Protect Alpha can be found here. At its side is a small box which when ticked makes this layer a Protect Alpha. The purpose of the Protect Alpha is to make sure that any changes can only be done on the drawing that is on the protected layer. To demonstrate this, I've earlier drawn something here on the canvas in the form of words. By default, I can draw anything on this canvas. Okay, But once I tick on the protect, uh, protect Alpha for this layer, I cannot draw anything or change anything on this layer if not upon the drawing. Like how you are seeing what what you're seeing on screen right now okay if I want to draw elsewhere that is not on this drawing other than this drawing then I just untick the protect alpha of this layer and then proceed to draw elsewhere on the canvas of the same layer okay this is easy to grasp right okay we'll move on to the clipping to make the click clipping option uh, active you need to have more than one layer so I'll add in another layer up here and only then I can tick on this clipping item you'll notice that this layer will move towards the side a little leaving a small space here it happens similarly like the stencil and the mask layer right well this means that the layer above is influenced or influences the layer beneath it the clipping works the same like the Protect Alpha, the only difference is in the additional layers. So we have two layers now. Anything drawn on this clip layer will only be shown upon the drawing. Uh, okay, upon the drawing of the layer that is clipped. Okay. Uh, this is like how you see on screen. Now if you untick this clipping item you will see the real drawing of this layer you can also add in any amount of clipping clipping layers that you want like this it's still clipping so hopefully we're clear with this okay now finally is the lock it functions to lock the layers so that no changes can be made upon that layer. When a layer is in lock, most of the tools in the toolbar cannot be used on this layer. Okay, for example, let me click on this uh, this layer and then I'll lock it. Now, when I when I hover on the canvas, you will see there is a stop stop symbol at the mouse cursor. This means that I cannot make any changes upon this layer. See? I cannot move it like this. Okay? Uh, you also see the lock symbol here at this layer indicating that this layer is locked. Okay? It's very easy to understand, right? Now, how do you use the Protect Alpha, the clipping and the lock? So I have a very simple um, a simple demonstration here. So we'll be focusing on this cream head up here. Okay, this one. So we are focusing on this cream head. Right now, this layer, layer 14, is clipped to layer 10. Meaning, anything drawn on layer 14 can only be within the drawings of the layer 10 so we'll try for layer 10 first let's see this one is under protect alpha so if it's under protect alpha i can only make changes inside of this uh, drawing that is already here for example let me change the color 
to blue so as you can see here the only changes is inside of this uh, layer tense drawing even though I put a color here a color fill here it doesn't show because this layer is in is under protect alpha now let's look at layer 14 layer 14 is clip and uh, to layer 10 so this is under clipping meaning any changes on layer 14 can only be uh, seen here on uh, this layer so if I unclip this you can see that there is this uh, little extra drawings here that is outside of the supposedly um, drawing of the cream head here so if I clip it then it will return to its uh, in it in its inside now for layer 14 you can clip it and at the same time also protect it so let's try on both protect alpha and then I'll change what is in here make it into another color and so you see it will be a different color okay the same goes for this one so let me protect alpha this and see the difference so now uh, this one makes it convenient for me whenever I just want to draw inside of one particular space drawing okay this is for the shades and this is like the reflective light or the glow and it's only within the the designated space so that is how I use protect alpha and clipping okay and then lock is uh, for you to not make any changes usually I put lock for um, my how do I say my signature or watermarks okay so there you have it the protect alpha clipping and the lock they're really easy to understand and are often used in digital drawing so please make good use of them okay that's it for today thank you so much for watching this tutorial video of medibank paint pro please like this video and subscribe to moonlight nana channel or follow me on facebook together we help each other in our art journey have a blessed day ahead everyone